Hey, we're the Curious Chicks. As you know, Nashville is known to be the country music capital in America, so we are gonna check out the music scene and we're gonna take you with us on our journey. Let's check it out. The Country Music Hall of Fame is in a super cool modern building. It has tons of country music memorabilia, including instruments, outfits, and even cars. Country music fans will be in heaven, but it is still very interesting for those who don't love country music. This museum covers the early days of country music through modern country that we are all familiar with today. And literally right across the street is the Country Music Walk of Fame. The Grand Ole Opry is the sixth home of the Opry, which began back in 1925 when a WSM radio host started the new tradition of a radio broadcast of live music. A weekly performance and live music broadcast still continues until this day. There are currently 65 Opry members, and being honored with an invite is based on the artist's accomplishments and relationship with fans. The tour gives you an exclusive peek of the backstage area, including dressing rooms and green room, and you get to walk on stage and feel like a music star. Roy Acuff's house is right next to the Grand Ole Opry and can be toured for $10. However, only two of the rooms are original and you don't get to tour the entire house. There is a video about Roy Acuff and another about the Grand Ole Opry's staff photographer, Les Everett. Many of his photos are displayed and the house predominantly serves as a gallery for his work. Not knowing who Roy Acuff was prior to our visit, we appreciated learning more about him, but would have otherwise skipped this attraction. The Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum is a lot smaller than the Country Music Hall of Fame, but it covers all music genres. It is not only very informative with lots of artifacts to see, but also interactive. We had a blast playing different musical instruments, singing and pretending to be musicians for a day. It highlights all musicians in general, and all the people behind the music, such as producers and songwriters. The Ryman Auditorium is in downtown Nashville and just steps away from one of the original honky-tonks, Tootsies. It used to be a place of worship and then became an agency that would book all sorts of acts. It was also the previous home to the Grand Ole Opry before it outgrew the venue. The Ryman is smaller, more intimate, with a traditional and historic vibe. We took a self-guided tour, which felt adequate, the tour starts with a really unique video presentation that interacted with the room. Neither of us had heard about the Ryman until visiting Nashville. It was interesting to learn that this venue is just as noteworthy as the Grand Ole Opry. Located southwest of downtown Nashville, Music Row is the headquarters of the country music industry in America. It consists of recording studios, agencies, and offices. Unless you're touring a recording studio such as the famous RCA Studio B, it's not all that exciting or interesting to see from the outside. However, due to its adjacency to Midtown, which offers a pretty cool food and bar scene, it could be worth a quick walk by or drive through. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, or leave us a comment. And follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.